I tell people this all the time. <clears throat> Football is important because it does a few different things. And in the South, I don't know about the Northeast. I don't know about the Midwest. I know in the South. Football is like church. <clears throat> Football brings in the average student. It brings in potential money. It brings eyes on the university. I don't want to use the eat word, but it brings eyes on the university. And it gives you opportunities. A media rights deal. Right now, they're not the best, but they give you opportunities. <clears throat> and I don't think some of, I think some HBCU, and I don't, I want to call them the Ivy level HBCUs where when you talk to them and they can have very good football programs it is they they sometimes don't see the importance of the football to the actual school in how they can marry together and coexist peacefully it has that is that something you're seeing at Tuskegee and maybe even I think Morehouse is even making that transition as well yeah, so luckily, um, Tuskegee, the long-term, the long-standing president and Dr. Payton, um, towards the end of his, his reign at Tuskegee, he started to see some, some significance in putting together a program. So he goes out, he brings in Coach Kumji. Um, Coach Kumji resurrects Tuskegee to this powerhouse in HBC football and he, he restores us to beating Bama State because I think prior to Kumji getting there I think Bama State was on like a 10 or 12 game winning streak against Tuskegee and um, uh, he was able to come in and, and, and revive the culture that that Tuskegee had um, then once Dr. Payton retires you, you, you get thrust into turmoil because we have five or six, uh, I think four, four or five different presidents during that time. And just with different presidents, they have different, their expertise, they're in different areas. And that's where strong athletic directors come in. And that's a position that I don't think that we spend enough time on and we don't vet properly. Like for a long time, we would just go get the guy who used to coach and just say, hey, you're the athletic director. But looking at the athletics department as being its own entity on, on a lot of these campuses. And I think that's what Howard's, Howard's basketball coach was getting at when he was talking about privatizing the stake in the basketball team is looking at athletics as another arm of the university. And so I think your AD one, I, and I hate to say this, like our, our first thing we see, we see with our eyes. I think appearances matter with ADs. Um, I think whether our ADs are articulate matters. Um, I think do are they their business acumen? You know, I know we like to get ADs, you know, for APR and certain other issues, but we can hire an APR person on staff. Okay, we 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 can hire other people to do other things. But I think as the AD, as in my opinion, the CEO of your athletic, athletic department, they need to be a go-getter. And um, and so you don't have that change up and down um, in, in those institutions. 